Well, after doing a little grinding, I'm pretty sure we're ready. I mean, we are, you know, at this point, uh... What was it, level 58? Yeah, 58. Um, we're just gonna be using returns on a will here. I, I don't have any creative strategies here. I mean, my ice punches aren't powerful enough at this level to really take out anything. Besides maybe the totem birds. And I've already placed that move with Fire Punch to be ready for Fortress on Koga. Because I was fighting him while I was grinding, obviously, a little bit. Because I was getting up to Karen reliably. I think with this, we'll have enough levels to do it. Assuming we don't get, you know, taken out by the stupid bird's confusion here. Just, like, just cross our fingers and hope we don't hit ourselves too many times. Or get frozen by Jinx's uh, Ice Punch. Because I would assume he has it. Oh, man, I should have brought a bitter berry. It would have helped here. Well, go for another return. Went for Psychic. Okay, Confusion's broken, so that's good. Though he still has one more Totem Bird. And it's going to be even higher level, so it'll probably still outspeed us and potentially set us up to get knocked out again. <sighs> Hopefully it uses an attacking move. Thankfully, uh, Executor and Slowbro are, uh, slow, you know? So, that'll take care of that one. I don't know if we're going to be able to one-shot this, but usually goes for Amnesia first turn anyway, so... We'll probably be alright. Yep, we're fine. Um, Earthquake. I don't have too many targets for that anyway, so I'm willing to waste one. Save returns for, you know, other stuff. Okay, this is for all the marbles. Oh, I went for Psychic. Okay, it screwed itself. If it went for Confuse Ray, it could have gotten lucky, then picked us off while we hit ourselves, like, twice. But okay. Will was willing to be really nice to us. No! Cuteness must be saved! We, we can let, you know, you evolve when we get done with uh, rest. We don't have to level 100 for it. After all, at that point, it won't matter. The run will be over. can't become a full adult, you know, until you've beaten everyone else, right? Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot to pull my HM slaves back out of the box. Oh, well. It does mean we're gonna have to walk, you know, at the start of that episode, unfortunately, but I'll get over it. I mean, I guess we can also bike. That's going to be really annoying to have to waste time on that. Okay, let's see what Koga's got for us. Sadly, I think Venomoth's still going to outspeed us. Which blows. Because it'll probably hit us with Super Sonic. And I really hate Confusion. When it's used against me. A game only I'm allowed to do it. Oh, I'm finally faster than Venomoth. Thank you. <laughs> That'll make this so much easier. Because that means the only real threat to us is going to be, uh... Crobat. Because it could double-team potentially, you know, set us into a bad series of attempts to hit it. Potentially. And he's bringing out the muck. Well, your trash Pokemon can eat an earthquake. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't hate on muck so much, but... It's just a pile of sludge, I just don't like it. I mean, it's only plus size, it's relatively strong. I dislike Grimer even more. Okay, go for return. Yep, we got it. 
Because if we make contact, that thing's just going down. Because our returns hit like a freaking freight train. Oh, that takes care of Koga. No! Don't! I don't want you to get big, ugly, hairy hands, man. Yes, you must hone your skills. Well, next time we'll finish off the last of the Elite Four members. Until then, see ya.